Connecting four-way switch junction box where the neutral wire passes through the box. Junction box for the four-way switch must be large enough to accommodate the cable and the switch according to the NEC, National Electrical Code, calculations. Wiring sketch of the four-way switch in this junction box. Example sketch of a three-way system connection using this junction box connection. Three-wire cable from the first three-way, or four-way, switch. Three-wire cable to the second three-way, or four-way, switch. Cables secured to the stud within 12 inches of the cable entry into the junction box. Remove the cable sheath. Cable sheath removed. The cable sheath shall extend into the junction box not less than one quarter inch. Three wire cable wires. Bare, ground wire. White, neutral wire. Black, hot wire. Red, second hot wire. Green wire nuts should only be used to connect the ground wire. The green wire nut has a special hole at the top that allows the bare pigtail of the ground wire, one of the ground wires to be spliced, to be exposed for connection to an electrical device after splicing. Popular tan wire nut which that fits most connections. Group the ground bare wires together. Select a longer wire for the pigtail wire. Trim the other ground wire to no less than 6 inches long, connect the trimmed wire to the longer pigtail wire with a green wire nut, and then insert the connected wires into the junction box. Shorter ground wire twisted around a longer pigtail wire. The length of free wire from the removed cable jacket must be at least 6 inches. Longer ground wire left for pigtail wire. Ground wires connected with a green wire nut. 3 to 5 twists are sufficient as too many twists may damage the wire. Spliced ground wires inserted into the junction box. And pigtail wire left outside junction box. Group the neutral, white, wires from both cables, trim them to no shorter than 6 inches, and strip the ends of the wires about 1 half inch. The ends of wires are stripped of insulation by about one half inch. The length of free wire from the removed cable jacket must be at least six inches. At least three inches of wire must extend from the front of the junction box. Using pliers and a wire nut or just a wire nut, connect the neutral wires together and insert them into the junction box. Twisting the ends of the wires with pliers ensures a better connection. Connection secured with a wire nut. 3 to 5 twists of the wires are sufficient to prevent damage to the wire insulation. 
spliced wires inserted into the junction box. Group all the wires and pigtail wire, trim them to no shorter than 6 inches and insert them into the junction box. Trimmed wires inserted into the junction box. To connect a four-way switch, remove the wires from the junction box, strip about one half inch of insulation from the ends of the wires, and make a loop in the end of each wire. The ends of the wires are stripped about one half inch. And a loop is made at the end of each wire. Four-way switch, front view. Four-way switch, rear view. Ground terminal, green screw. Hot input terminals, black screws. Hot output terminals, gold screws wires from the junction box that will be connected to the four-way switch ground bare wire that should be connected to the ground terminal green screw of the switch hot black and red traveler wires from the cable from the first three-way or four-way switch power source side which must be connected as a pair to input connection terminals as per manufacturer instruction both wires of the same cable as a pair must be connected to either the input black screws or the output gold screws switch connection terminal. It does not matter whether a pair of wires from one of the two cables is connected to the input or output connection terminal. And the wires from the same pair can be connected to the same terminal input or output in any order for the switch to operate properly. Hot, black and red, traveler wires from cable to the second three-way, or four-way, switch, which should be connected as a pair to the second switch connection terminals, output. Connect the ground wire, bare, from the junction box to the ground terminal, green screw, of the switch. Ground wire connected. Connect one of the traveler wires, black in this example, from the cable from the first three-way, or four-way, switch to one of the input terminals, black screw, of the switch. Wire connected. Connect the other traveler wire, red, from the cable from the first three-way, or four-way, switch to the other input terminal black screw of the switch other wire from the same cable is connected connect one of the traveler wires red from the cable to the second three-way or four-way switch to one of the output terminals gold screw of the switch wire connected connect the other traveler wire black from the cable to the second three-way or four-way, switch to the other output, terminal, gold screw, of the switch. Wire connected. For the switch to operate properly, both wires from the same cable must be connected as a pair to the input or output terminals of the switch. The wires of the same cable to the same pair of switch terminals can be connected in any order. To maintain consistency, wires of the same color can be connected to one side of the switch, and wires of a different color to the other side, but as a pair from the same cable they must be connected to the same terminals, input, or output of the switch.
Wires from the same cable can be connected in any order to same terminal of the switch as now shown. Insert the wires into the junction box. Make sure the ground wire does not touch any of the hot screws of the switch. Secure the switch to the junction box and level it. Switch secured to the junction box. Install the switch wall plate. If this video is helpful please subscribe. Comments are welcome.